the key things that went on when I was young coming out in the business, stuff was going on and I was very naive and I didn't, you know, I really was just like, do that, do that, okay. Um, and scared and all the rest of it, but also aware that this, this, this is gonna make me more liked, you know, I was just a mess. And it wasn't until years later when I'd got myself out of that and I was, I guess, an adult. And I came across a few people, a couple of journalists and one really cool um, filmmaker who said to me, well done for getting out of that hideous situation. And I'm grateful for everything that's happened since then because it has made me aware. It's made me joyful because I'm so grateful for my life in a way that I wouldn't have been before that. Yeah. And I think a lot of lives end before a person has had time to figure it out. Yeah. And they certainly have, don't get helped. Yeah. Uh, the reason I could do it is because I had enough time, I had enough money to go and see therapists, um, to, to, to have the time to read, to learn. I had a, I mean, I'm an inquisitive mind and I've got beautiful, beautiful people in my life. You know, a very strong mother, beautiful human. My dad is a tender, sweet, kind person. One beautiful day of connection with my family, with my parents, which I have now, um, makes up for makes up for a decade of of um, my mum calls them the lost years. Well, I, listen, it's a testament to the work that you're able to do and the the things you're able to do on film in the face of what you've gone through is. It's, it's Listen, astounding to me, though. It's okay, but it really, really is. love. But this is the thing. Like, you know, I'm sitting here with you now. I didn't expect to have this kind of conversation. Um, I, I, for, I just do forgive. I really, really do, because people do things and they don't know why they're doing them, and they're just as lost as the people that they end up hurting. And look, maybe that's where movies is, you know, that is still the place for films, is to show us the reality of what other people are going through and to, tr and with, with, with cleverness, try and create solutions which we can see and feel which are going to help. Not bodies and bitches and endless violence and fucking just nonsense. But people are only making that because they're trying to make a living. You know, it's not that they're trying to fuck up the world, but I just think that we have with, you know, you're a documentary maker, I'm an actress. We are fortunate that you're, f you know, how, how lucky are you that you got to sit here and talk about something really valuable? It's because you're smart, it's because you read the right material, because you're influenced by people that, that are really, that want what's good for the world. You're lucky. That's right. It's not I that feel lucky. To be someone who's just, you know, I don't know, just, screwing up their life and, and beating people and hurting children and ugh, that's an unlucky person yeah and i look at myself every day i live with regret and i live with how can i be a better person how can i turn this around so that it's not horrible and i think it's partly because i spent so many years trying to how do i make myself into something that people are going to like because nobody does you know when i was little that was your mindset i'm not saying that everyone should go through that but it's what we do with the shit it's what we do with the pain is what is what measures us mm -hmm.